going back. Ooh, just a second. I'm back. Not remembering how to do the things. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Let me see. We're getting it in stereo. Still in stereo? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay. Is that better? I think that's better now. Sorry about that. Look, I forgot how to do the things, but I remember now how to do the things. Hello, Danielle. Do you see what I have on? So Danielle is here and uh, her and Lindsay bought these t-shirts in London. So I went all over to find my matching London t-shirt. Hello, Kari. How are you doing? Kari is still in England. And Elise. Oh my goodness. So many of my friends from the cruise. Hi, Irene. How are you? Lizette. Hola, chica. Noah, oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. Everybody's in the house. Hello, my friends. How are you? How have you been? It's, it, it's been a minute, right? It's been a minute. And then I just realized, guess what? I leave on Saturday for Utah. I, I don't even know what I was thinking there. So, um, yes, I'm home for like five seconds. And then I leave again. Uh, I have to, we'll see how this goes because I'm coughing like crazy. So I feel better today, but still not 100%. But um, I played. I came down and did a quick background. And we're going to do this with the new Distress Ink and a couple of the, look at, it looks so pretty, and the metallic glazes and make this lovely background. So it shouldn't take too long. We'll chat. We'll catch up. And then um, I'm going to go and get some food because I haven't eaten vegetables, I feel like, in 100 years. Uh, and then just take it easy. But I will be back on Friday, even though I will be packing up to leave to go to um, Utah to see Lil on uh, Saturday. I will uh, definitely still do Friday Night Live, and we can talk about what you would like to see on Friday. So many things to talk about. Hello, I saw Natalie here, too. Hello, Natalie. Hi, Kathy, Kelly. Oh my goodness, so many of you. Um, I know that we won't get tons because it's a holiday here, holiday weekend here in Canada for Canada Day. And then all my American friends, right? It's tomorrow is, in, it's Independence Day, right? Is that what it, tomorrow is? Um, your 4th of July. So uh, I'm sure that uh, the friends who are here, thank you. I know a lot of you will be watching after the fact. So um, is the connection okay? I'm hoping you guys can see me and that's all good. It looks like the connection's a little wonky, but um, we'll make it not too long so that I don't lose you guys. So yay, how you doing? I, I'm sure I'm missing lots of what you guys are saying. Um, hi, Carol, we all missed you, especially the ones that didn't go on the cruise. Sounds like it was uh, a great time. It was an exceptionally good time. We were a smaller group and um it just couldn't have been better like here's the whole thing first time i've taught live for 100 years right it feels like it and you go in and you you know they're going to be awesome people they're part of the v blue community but it just was even better than i could have ever imagined we laughed a lot we created we spent a lot of time in the craft room um a couple of husbands were there a couple uh other like people who weren't crafters were there and we all got along and hung out and had the best, very, very best time. So, you know, if you ever have an opportunity to do any of those cruises, um, there's lots of the ladies that, uh, I don't know if Adam's here, ladies and guy that were on it, but oh my goodness. Uh, my cup runneth over, as I say all the time. It really was. I cried a few times when I was on there because I just, I, I can't even believe it's going to sound corny, but I'm going to say it, how blessed I am that this is what I do for a living and that um, what I create has uh, brought this group of people to me or I don't know, or whatever I do, the, my craziness, whatever has attracted you to coming and hanging out with me. But uh, if I haven't said it enough, I love each and every one of you. This is it's magical and I've missed you. It's not a lie when I say when I'm away, I, I miss the lives. I um, miss seeing you guys and Noah's daughter. Hello, sweet girl. Um, 
that you welcome me into your homes that I'm we laughed when we're talking about that like how family members will talk about me Rich is here because he wants to say hi too. he missed you guys too just wanted to say hello to all my fans yeah he he thinks he has fans he thinks he's gonna start his own uh, no. live he's we called him sidecar rich he's gonna have a we're gonna set him up in a sidecar uh and i'm gonna make it out of paper and cardboard and he's gonna be hanging out with me sidecar rich right or the dance of monkey yeah. monkey sidecar right right but i am comfortable on my just spot hanging out golf course you know yeah I mean? but he did he was it was good he was a lot of fun he was definitely a very pleasant addition uh, on the cruise, uh, the um, Vibu crew got along with Rich, so it was very good. I don't know what's going, weirdness is going on in here. So anyway, what's happening with you guys? Yes, and I got to see Shamel. That was awesome. Uh, we spent two days together, and she, we walked. Oh, my goodness. So no wonder I'm freaking exhausted. I, I did not have anything on there that was um, uh, tracking my steps, but... A million. I walked a million steps. I'm sure I walked a million steps. It was good. I saw all of the things. I did the things. I ate the things. That's why I'm like, oh, just give me water and salad for like three months, right? But it was phenomenal. But there were pe a lot of people everywhere. I'm not surprised that COVID rates are spiking because there were bodies to body everywhere you went. So if you're not comfortable with taking that chance, I would say don't travel yet. Airports, craziness. I saw Bobby Flay in the airport. So if any of you guys watch um, the the uh, Food Network, Bobby Flay was right there. I saw him, he was standing there and I always, I'm an observer. So I saw him and I said to Rich, I'm like, that's Bobby Flay. And uh, he looks, he goes, that totally is Bobby Flay. I'm like, I know. Well, we waited over an hour in the customs line in London and then waited on uh, the airports are craziness. Here's what I have to say. The world is a little crazy right now. What we can do is put a little bit of good and kindness out there. So just have some patience and um, lead with kindness, I would say, and give everybody a little grace. I think it's super important to um, just balance all of the craziness that's in the world is by putting some good out in it. So uh, that's my little uh, feedback for today is just, right, um, just put a little bit of kindness out there. But yeah, Bobby Flay was there. He's super skinny dude. But yeah, he was standing, he had his sunglasses on, but I knew. I'm like, I know it's you, Bobby. I see you, Bobby. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. Um, did not have a good time at Pearson when I came home for sure. It's, it, we were very lucky. We got off the plane um, on Friday, I think, 10, 10, 10 o'clock, and went right through customs. So that was super easy. But then bags took over an hour for the bags to come up. Uh, but, and here's the other thing. Don't forget your manners. I don't know what's, that, that would be a big thing I'd have to say. Vicki, what are some of your travel takeaways, things that you're going to share? You can't walk four wide on the sidewalk in one direction and not let people pass. I, I don't, I, the things that I witness out there, I'm like, I think people all went feral, <laughs> seriously, being home with COVID. So remind your children, remind your, like if somebody you're with, say please, say thank you, be kind to servers, be kind to anybody who's helping you. Uh, don't walk for across the sidewalk. You have to fall behind to let people pass. I don't know if people expect you to walk on the street where the buses and the cars are. I don't know. Um, don't butt in line. You're, you getting your bags is no more important than the person behind you. I've never witnessed the crate. I travel the world and I've never witnessed the rudeness, the, um, the uh, what do you call that? Uh, where you think what you need is more important than everybody else. I, it was shocking to me. The rudeness, unbelievable. So I will call people on it too, because I'm like, dude, you need to check yourself because that is not how you behave. And your mother would expect more from you. So that is the entitlement. It, 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 I've never witnessed anything like it on this trip. Um, just rudeness, rudeness. 
So there's my thing is that I'm going to double down on um, making sure I say extra pleases and thank yous and let people know how important they are to me. Because I think it's um, really, really, really important. You call it entitled. 100%. That's a word. But my brain is really slow. I, I can't read right now. I can't see at all. I think it has to be exhaustion, right? But um, that's what I'd have to say. Just remember it. Remember when you're sending an email. Remember when you're doing any everything. We're all stressed. It's just craziness. Just so lead with kindness because guess what? That's what you'll get back tenfold. So that's that is that is my um a soapbox moment but i'm done with that but hello there's adam hello adam i laugh because on facebook there are a ton of views for our um boomerang and that people were all very concerned that poor adam was in there and i'm like he wanted to be there he was there by choice we had a good time but i laugh because they're like oh look at that poor guy i'm like there were guys standing behind the, the camera too. We were all there having the best time. So uh, these were a gift from Adam and Kathy. So thank you. Yeah, the, the gifts that this group was just awesome and, and not at all in any way expected or in any way that it needed to happen, but it was awesome. And I got to meet Kari, which you guys are all familiar with, but our whole group. So I had Tracy, Fiona, Wendy, Wendy couldn't make it. That was a sad thing. Wendy got, um, their house got hit with uh, um, the coronavirus the week before. So if you're out there, Wendy, we missed you. Um, Debbie, Kari, Valerie, Julie, Noah, um, Elise, Laura, Betsy, Lindsay, Danielle, Janice, Karen, Kathy, and Adam. Thank you, my cruising buddies. It was really great. And it's not far off for our, our October cruise as well. So I am ordering product for that this week. Um, before we get started, one more thing. And then I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into this really fun new color from Tim Holtz. I love it. It is beautiful. And I mix it with some of my metallic glazes. And it turned out it's a very subtle tone-on-tone -tone background. It's really beautiful. Um, Sweet Rush is coming. It is the weekend. I should have written it down. The 23rd, I think. It is in stone. It is going to be that weekend. I will be opening up the um, Facebook group at some point this week. I have orders to ship out. If you want in on, on Sweet Rush, I have kits left. So I will be uh, posting that and I need to get everything out this week prior to if you are coming to pick anything up we need to make arrangements i can make arrangements even if i'm not here rich will take care of you so we'll do that but yes all of that stuff will be um coming out it'll be coming it'll be ready um access only as well i will be posting uh, as soon as i get the instructions done which i'm working on all this week thanks irene so yes um it is the 22nd 23rd and 24th and we're going to do something with a stamp set, uh, make some cards. So uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to do that on the Friday as like our pregame warm up. So we're going to have a great time. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, yes, I'm on top of it. I will be working on those things and getting that out. So yay. Um, plans for gel plate two at some point, Lisa. It's just, uh, I just need to get all of my ducks in a row. Because guess what just arrived? Do you want a peek? Do I have it handy? Evergreen and Holly. I just, uh, I moved it. It's not here. Here are the card box card set. But guess what? It arrived. So I will be doing my, um, if you want to join me for an amazing holiday weekend with Evergreen and Holly, I'm going to be doing that uh, pre-order is going to be going up uh, probably when I get back from Utah. And then very shortly after will be the print shop one that will go up. I'll give you guys like a break. I'm not going to put it back to back. I don't uh, want to um, have too much on the go, right? But that will be coming up as well. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Lots of fun is coming up. So with the um, Evergreen and Holly, we're going to be doing that prior to Christmas. And then print shop, which I can't wait for that one, will be in the new year. So it's a perfect uh, Christmas gift, right? Perfect, perfect Christmas gift. And then gives us something to look forward to in the new year. So yay. So are you ready? Let's flip the camera around and talk about what we're going to do tonight.
Did I miss anything? Any questions? Uh, anybody's birthday? What have I missed? I, I've missed so much, I'm sure. I had no Wi-Fi. I paid for Wi-Fi on the cruise ship. First time ever, no Wi-Fi. So I don't know if it was my uh, provider, just it didn't hook up, but I couldn't email. And then I was walking every day in London. By the time I got back to my room, I just laid on the bed and passed out. So I have a lot of posting to catch up. Um, so right outside Salt Lake City is where I will be in Utah. And then we're going to drive to Vegas to go see Usher. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's going to be fun. And then um, I'll be back and get ready for our Sweet Rush weekend, which is going to be so phenomenal. It's going to be so good. So um, yes, I'll be down to pick you and the kids up. Oh, we're having side conversations. So I didn't know what was going on there. Yay, Norway's watching. Very exciting. Um, happy belated birthday. Oh, is this Wednesday? Kalina, very nice. Do you have any leftover kits from the cruise? I have about 50 of them, but um, I'm not posting them till I get back from Utah because if orders come through, there's no one here to process them. So I have about 50 of those kits. I have to figure out pricing because as the ladies and uh, Adam, the ladies and guy will tell you is um, it's a huge kit. It's humongous. It was good. We created a layout uh, layouts and we created the album and there were still tons left over, right? I know Natalie, I know I will have one set aside for you for sure. Um, and access for Sweet Rush will be up as soon as the instructions are done, right? I don't post that until you can get the downloads and all the rest will go out in the email. So um, that should be, I'm working, I'm starting that tomorrow. So my goal is before I leave, everything's set up and ready for Sweet Rush so no one is stressed. I don't want any stress, right? Um, the kits are beefy, yeah, they're very big. So what is access only? is if you don't purchase a kit or you wanna use whatever you have on hand or you already bought a whole bunch of Sweet Rush, then you can purchase access to be a part of the three classes. It's over 15 hours of live teaching that is also recorded. So that is what access only is, is for the Sweet Rush weekend. Uh, yes, that is what that is. Yvonne is access only, which will be posted on my store at some point this week. All right. It'll be point. I, I just have to get the instructions completed. So when you um, do that, you will get a um, downloads so that you can download your instructions, images and get access to the private Facebook group. OK, uh, yay. I think that's good, right? I think I answered the questions. Um, so we will do the things, okay? And Sidecar, he needs us uh, live in the studio for his premiere on Wednesday. You crazy ladies. Okay, let's flip the camera. Here we go. All my stuff is laying here because I did come down and work on this so that I would know exactly what we were doing. So let me tell you, I'm just putting the computer down because it's easier for me to see the um, comments. We will be setting up a Facebook group for Sweet Rush this week. Yes, for paying customers only. Yes, so if you have the kit, you will have access. If you buy access only, um, you will be able to go into that private Facebook group where all of the links and everything um, will be there. Access only videos are Facebook only? No, it's all on YouTube. But the Facebook group is where all of the things are housed. So you can uh, find the links and everything. But no, I do it through YouTube. Okay. Hi, Robin. How are you, my friend? Do you have any of the mallet? Yes, I have tons of the texture paste. I have not uploaded anything, Susan, because I'm, I haven't been home. So I have tons of things to add to the store. And when I get back from Utah, there will be the grab boxes we'll be working on. The um, I'll be stocking the store. There's tons. I have art crayons. I have everything. I have tons. Stencils. There's tons of stuff. But you know what? There's no sense in me doing any of that until... I'm home to actually ship it out, right? So if any of you have placed orders, nothing shipped while it was away, but I'm working on that. So I'm going to be shipping tomorrow and I'm going to be working on Sweet Rush. So, yay. Hi, Catherine, how are you? Um, I'm obsessed with all of your mediums and collections, but I just hoard them and never use them. I know we need to get you using them, Jess. We have so much fun, right? 
um, definitely worthwhile to pull this stuff out and use it. Look how fun this one is. So while I was away, Mr. Holtz sent me um, the new Distress Ink color. So when you see the pictures with the hands in it, it was Devin. Devin took a picture. I'm like, you need to open this box for me. And I love it. I told you guys I wanted a new blue. And I didn't even know I needed this one until I knew I needed it when it came out. So the new color is Uncharted Mariner, which normally I would have been here and shared this with you. And um, yeah, <laughs> now I am today, right? I saw a question, shipping Sunkissed. Uh, yes, if you ordered anything, I will be um, shipping all of it with a gift in all the boxes because I know that um, it is been delayed, right, with me being away. So yes, all of the magic will be coming out. It's gonna be so great. Okay, it's gonna be so great. So I decided that um, I was gonna play with the ink and I painted this background, or no, inked the background. And then we're gonna go in with a stencil, which I just opted for the butterfly stencil. You can use whatever you want. And we're gonna remove pigment and then we dra I'm gonna drag two of the metallic texture paste. So guess what? This one matches almost perfectly. So this one is ice berry and is almost the exact same color. It's beautiful with this new Uncharted Mariner. And then Spearmint. So I went for a very tone on tone background with the um, metallic texture paste, the ink. And then I went in and stamped with one of Tim's stamps. So you can stamp with anything. You could stamp with polka dots, you could use a stencil and you could add pattern in there. Um, and then we're gonna just mist it and let it drip. And this will be a quick background that for sure on Friday, I will um, throw some photos on it because this is one of these super simple background that all you're gonna need is something to do title. And I see photos going here and here maybe two up here and one down there with a beautiful title on it. Matt, the photos done and done, done and done. Hello, um, Michelle, how are you? So uh, yeah, done and done. It's going to be very fun, right? So let's, sh I'm going to show you exactly how I, I did this. It's not going to take a long time. Let me have a drink. My, um, can I use the blue prism glaze? 100% could Noah. It's like the, these two colors mixed in one, 100% you can. And if you can't do this today because maybe you're sneaking in here to watch and happy belated birthday, Marlene, Mrs. W, I miss you so much. I could squeeze you really hard. Um, so if this is, you watch how quick we're gonna do this background is so fast. But like I said, look at that metallic. You can see the shine in it, right? And I even stamped in some of these. When I press the stamp on, which makes it look like the um, it's the glaze is all kind of eaten away. So let's do it. You ready? Let's do it. So I'm going to use a page of foundations paper. You do need something that uh, a background that has a little bit of oomph, a little bit of weight to it because it's a pretty wet technique. And if uh, you don't, it's going to buckle quite a bit. Debbie's here too. Hello, Debbie. Debbie and Lindsay and Noah and Elise. And who else is here? Lots of you guys are here, right? The stencil is part of one of the new stencil sets. Yes, it is in um, one of the new Sweet Rush sets. I don't remember exactly. Flutter, I think the set is maybe. Um, hi, B. How are you? Um, so you'll do the access once it's up. Love this background. I miss you so much, B. I hope you're doing well, sweet friend. It was like I said, getting together was magical. And I have there's lots of stuff going to be going on now that um, my travel schedule is opening up. I've been getting lots of requests. Um, but look, it, it's easier for me to do... Um, a lot of this stuff right from home where all of you guys can be a part of it. So I will be traveling to a select few different events, but uh, for the most part, I'm going to keep doing a lot of this stuff online because you can do it from the comfort of your home. If you can't, like B said, she's not available that weekend, but guess what? It's all recorded. So even if you can just pop in and say hi on one of those days, B, 
Um, I would love to see you, but if not, I'll make sure I come back and check, right? And Debbie and Tracy too, yes. Debbie, Tracy, and Danielle, lots of these ladies, um, and Adam uh, were on the cruise with me, lots of fun. Would mixed media paperwork, sure. Sure it will, Kathleen. Just watch, you'll see. I'm gonna talk to you when we get to the one part where we're gonna lift with baby wipe. So things you need, baby wipe, stencil, whatever ink, if you don't have Uncharted Mariner, but you wanna use a different dark blue, you totally can do that. Um, if you don't have these metallic paste, you could use any metallic paste or some kind of texture paste, or you could just lift the color off and it'll be beautiful. You could, um, you could uh, heat emboss through the stencil by just putting some embossing ink through the stencil, sprinkling some embossing powder on. You can do anything, right? Anything that you guys want to do. So um, let's get to it. So I'm not going to be worrying about laying this pigment down perfectly. I'm going to go in with regular distress ink. I'm going to stamp with oxide. But you know oxide, when it separates, has a whole different appearance. So I want to have this kind of true blue um, on my background. So I'm going to go in just with the regular Distress Ink. Hello, Linda. How are you? Um, hi, Pamela. Morning from uh, uh, New Zealand. Good morning. Yeah, I have to talk to Michelle. All those plans for next year, I have to talk to her about. Um, but we were on the cru same cruise ship. If any of you guys are going on the cruise out of New Zealand, I don't know what's happening with that. I have not been talking to anybody because I was on a cruise, right? So um, I am not sure what's happening there. So if you guys have questions about it, I can't answer that right now. Don't worry about um, if you get polka dots. I'm actually going to play up that. Okay, so when I go in, I have my distress tool, my blending tool is moving before I even put it down, but I'm going to purposely put some dots of color because it's a great way to get some pigment down on here and we're going to blend it out anyway when we put stencil and stuff on here. Okay, so I have lots of stuff after ice. I'm guessing those would work too. For sure, Cindy, right? For sure. Use whatever you have. So when I build this, I'm going to start here and then a little bit's going to come in the corner. It's going to bleed down into this corner and a little bit over here. So you want it to kind of snake across. Don't just cover it in a blob. You um, always kind of want to have a little bit of rhyme or reason where you're laying your pigment. So I'm just going to quickly, you're going to watch how fast this background can come together. This color is just heavenly. I love it. So way to go, Mr. Holtz. And now did you see that whole new Sizzix release too? Oh my goodness. Yes, please sign me up. I want it all. Um, and I was sick in bed. So I totally missed that he was live. And I'm sad about that because that would have been a perfect thing to do while I was in there. Guess what I was watching on Prime? <laughs> my husband walks in and he goes, are you for real? I'm like, yes, I am. I was watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I'm in season, just started season two, and there's no shame in my game because I love Buffy and I love Angel and um, I'm going to watch the whole thing and I don't feel bad about it. Uh, any idea if you'll be going anywhere fun next June, trying to decide what I want to do for my 50th birthday? Um, I have the cruise, right, Keisha? So that'll be a big one in Alaska, which is in July. And then I have a bunch of things with Crop and Create. Um, none, I don't think any of that's been announced, but I'll be doing some things with that in the spring. Um, and then in the fall, I will have, uh, I have one event. I don't know if it, has it been announced, Michelle, if you're out there? Um an event that I am partaking in for the first time. And uh, maybe we can share some details with that. Uh, but I've had lots of requests and a lot of emails that I have not had a chance to respond to because it's hard when I don't have answers. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't have answers, right? 50 is a big one. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. 
but yeah, I have the Alaskan cruise and um, so see what I'm doing. Don't cover everything because you're going to see what's going to happen in a minute. And I'm going to go back in and deposit a little bit more color, but I'm just doing, look at these little circles, and then I'm going to blend them out a bit too. Um, but I've had lots of different requests for things. Uh, it's, it's very hard because I'm going to have to say no for some of it because I just can't do all of it. And uh, with having, um, like I'll have, I'm, we're working on currently as well, my next collection that will come out in spring. We're actively working on that as well. So lots of fun things are going on. I want to definitely do the part two to the gel plate class. That will definitely be happening. I just have to figure out when. See how I'm just depositing some darker circles. I'm not fighting it. I'm doing this kind of circle business. Um, but you're going to find that once we add the water and do the magic that happens with distress, because that's why these inks are magical and just um, makes my love for Tim Holtz grow and grow and grow. And Ranger, love them. Um, but I'm not gonna fight the circles that uh, we get when we use the flat blending tool, right? So you don't need, you need enough ink on here when we do these magical things that um, it will work out, right? But uh, yeah, Michelle, did you're here. Did you tell everybody, have, have things been announced? Because Michelle has been, um, question, where can I find a repeat of the Spectrum Sherbert Day we paid for? We paid for, not the Friday night. The link, uh, Vicki, you just have to email me. Or Natalie's here and she's always the freaking best. Um, she can just send you a link because it was on uh, YouTube. It was on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, you'll be able to access that. It's recorded. I won't leave you hanging. Okay, so see, I have lots of color deposited. I'm not overworking it because this is just the first step. Yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, totally been watching it. You're going to announce this week, but we can hear today. So, Michelle, um, so some of my friends out there may be familiar with uh, Michelle Craft. Um, and, uh, she has, we've been talking about some things, so I'm going to be doing something with Michelle. So, um, take it away lady, but she knows anybody like anybody else. She's been trying to pin me down to get answers. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. Craziness. Right. So, uh, it's going to be very exciting. So we have some exciting things that are going to be happening in the new year. Okay, so see, there's like kind of a base of a pattern has been created. A base of a pattern has been created. Let me move it up. Can you guys see? I'm going to move this up a little bit. So sorry for the sausage arms for a second. But let's bring that up a little bit. So it's all in screen. Is that better? And now we're going to take the stencil with a baby wipe. You do not want, you want your baby wipe to be pretty dry. So one of the things I'll do is, let me, I'm gonna wipe off where I got it on my craft map. And I am going to take some of the moisture out. I am feeling better, Fiona, thank you. And not 100%, I will go to bed early but definitely better than I was between the jet lag and uh, I've tested negative. So if it's COVID, I'm not, it's not testing positive, but uh, definitely coughing like crazy and a headache, right? So, uh, but definitely feeling better. Thank you very much, my friend. So what we're going to do now, right, is we deposited this pigment and it's very pretty and you could leave it like that and that can be a background. But I'm going to place this stencil with these flying butterflies and I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So I have this damp baby wipe that I can now lift pigment off of the background. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to rub too much because you'll start to peel the paper, uh, meaning, right, it'll start to tear underneath. So I'm going to take this um, and I'm going to go in here and now I'm going to just lift pigment. 
Now, right, it's wet. So you want to move that around so I'm not redepositing the pigment unless I want to. Like here, I can actually add some blue. So where part of it, I look like I'm lifting. I'm also So watch, like I said, you don't want to pill your paper. But I'm going to take this and let's see what it looks like so you guys can get an idea. Look how pretty. So just watch because the water will go underneath. If you wipe it, you're going to smudge your pigment all over. So I'm just going to wipe my stencil off a little bit and just keep doing that. But if that bothers you, just go in and lift some of that moisture. Don't rub it just lift it. Okay. That's just where the water from the baby wipe is starting to go underneath your stencil. And I'm going to place the stencil again and lift a little bit more of the pigment. You don't really want to mist on here because it would blend bleed all underneath the stencil, but you need to get new areas of your baby wipe. So you're not redepositing that blue ink. You're actually lifting it off. Okay. And don't rub it too much because what will happen is you will start to tear the paper and it's a little too dry because the ink is water soluble, right? That's the whole magic. How's it going, Janice? My friend Janice is here too. How are you feeling, friend? She came home under the weather. So I hope you're feeling better and Karen's feeling better. But Janice moved right before she went on the cruise with me. So she came back to reality of life, right? And still has to uh, unpack. So I hope that's going well, my friend. Okay. So see what happened here. Now we created this butterfly pattern. And I don't have to. I'm going to layer some of them too. I'm okay if it's they're right on top of each other. And I'm going to lift a little bit more. Right, making sure I don't pill my paper. There, put some over in here. Okay. Just tap up that moisture. Clean off your stencil. I'm going to get a new wipe. Hi, Dandy. How are you, friend? Hi, Dora. Hi, Randy. How are you? Bonsoir. Hello, Sophia. Very nice. Okay. So even if you don't have this new color of distress ink, that's totally okay. Use what you have, right? Just, um, I'd stick probably if you can with a blue because I think it's pretty if you're, well, there again, if you're going to use the same, um, texture paste that I'm using because this is a very pretty tone on tone, right? So this was a lot uh, more moisture in that wipe. So watch, you're going to really see it, but see, it did bleed under. So the first one I did, I wiped it across. Don't do that. Just pounce your pigment up because if you wipe it across, it blurs all the lines and you don't have that kind of crispness of those butterflies. I'm going to do a couple over here. And we're going to do the next step. So just wipe the moisture so you don't redeposit the pigment that you lifted on your stencil. And I think that will be pretty right there. And then that blended out those circles a little bit too, if you noticed. Oh, see, I just dragged it all over. Don't do that. But I think we'll be okay. Maybe a couple up here. Okay. So see, you deposit and you lift. Because you carry some of that ink off. I might do one here like that. Because I do like that then the butterfly just kind of transfers over.
can I'll show you what I'm talking about. So see, now we have some blue butterflies where the ink carried over. Doop, doop. Okay. So now what I did is then I cleaned my stencil off. I positioned it. And now I'm going to highlight some of these with texture paste. And because they're so close in color, I'm going to blend them a little bit together. We're going to put it on here and blend them together. So um, when you do this, you want to have one of these wipes handy because I'm going to use my palette knife, palette knife, scraper tool, whatever you want to use. Um, if you use like a scraper tool, it will be really easy to just kind of bring your color through, but also really easy to drag it through the stencil maybe where you don't want it. So just have your tools handy and have something ready so you can wipe your palette knife um, between colors. I'm not going to cover all of these solidly. I'm going to just make sure I deposit a little bit of pigment in some of these open areas. So you need to go in here and position your stencil again. And it's tricky. Now it gets tricky, but I'm doing this where I'm totally okay if I make a little bit of a mess. If you're concerned that this is going to move on you, just tack it down with some washi tape. I use baby wipes to remove the ink. Correct. But make sure they're not sopping wet. They should only be damp because if they're too wet, what will happen is it all bleed underneath your stencil and you'll peel the paper a lot, right? Uh, the texture paste is Vicky Booten. It's my texture paste for American Crafts. It came out with a sweet rush release. So it came in a pack of all these rainbow colors, but we're only going to use the blue and green one. Okay. The iceberry and the spearmint. If you don't have these and you have something else, go for it. You know that you don't have to have my exact same products to uh, play. Okay. So whatever you have is perfect. It's exactly what you are meant to use today. So I'm going to go in with some of the spearmint. So I'm going to put some of the green, drag it. I'm going to put some of the blue that's almost the exact, exact same color, drag it. I'm going to lift the stencil. I'm going to move it. I'm going to fill in some areas. I am not covering solid butterflies. Some of them might be, but a lot, it's only going to be broken and kind of really distressy. Your baby wipe was too wet. Yep. Yeah. Like, did you see I squeezed it out and you want it to only be slightly damp, slightly damp, because if not, it'll peel the paper and it will bleed underneath your stencil. Okay. So see how lovely this lovely greeny turquoisey color, right? So you don't need too much. Less is more. You can always add, but you can't take away. So just get a manageable amount on the back of your palette knife. And then we're just going to kind of spot at it. Because like I said, I don't want full turquoise green butterflies. I just want part of this. Okay, I like to lift most of it off the stencil so I'm not wasting my product. Maybe pull a little there. Make sure you don't go outside the stencil, right? See how pretty that is? But we go in, we're going to blend the blue too. So I'm going to put this back in. Don't lift your stencil yet. I did it, but I don't want you to lift it yet. Okay. So I will position it again, trying not to make a mess. I don't know what I was thinking when I lifted that stencil up. Don't do that. Vicky was crazy. Don't be crazy like Vicky, because now she has to try to position this again without messing everything up. Don't lift the stencil. I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Okay. I needed to go in with the other color of blue first. So I'm going to clean that off. You could have, if you had two palette knives, then at least you're not was wasting your product too. So I'm going to go in now with some of this blue. And because the colors are very similar, I can totally blend some of that on in with the other ones, right? Again, not covering everything. Now I'm going to lift the stencil up like I should have. Now that's the reveal. Oh, look how pretty. Started at the top, working my way down. It is tricky, right? When it's not a 12 by 12 stencil. So when I go to move this stencil now, one, you wanna make sure 
no pigment leak through the back of your stencil. If it did, just give it a little bit of a wipe so you're not transferring that color, right? In a perfect world, you could go, in a perfect world, to be honest with you, I'd let that completely dry and then I'd come in and do the bottom um, and I'd clean all my stencil off. But for time's sake, we're not doing that. I'm just going to um, wing it. So I will lay this down here. I'm not going to let it go flat in this top corner, okay? Um, because I will put it in wet ink. So I'm just going to do that. I just dragged my finger through it, okay? I'm going to hold this now, take what's on my palette knife. I'm going to go in with that dark blue first. Just work in this one section. Remember, not covering everything. I'm totally okay with that. It's tricky, friends. I'm not going to lie. A little bit tricky, okay? But it do, you aren't going for perfect. Okay, clean your palette knife off, which is tricky because I only have one hand. This is why if you had a second palette knife, not a bad idea, okay? So let's throw a little bit of that greeny color in. She's just getting crazy. She is just getting crazy. Okay, let's look. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm making a mess because my hands are dirty. Let's see. And we are not done. We are not done. Question. Did you use oxides or regular distress? I use regular distress. I'm going to use oxide next. Of course you can do this technique, Debbie. 100% you can. So I am going to throw one little butterfly over here. I don't think I will over here. I'm going to leave them here because I don't want them everywhere. And I made a mess right here, so I might throw something on there. So let's see. Which one was this? Because that's what I want to use, this guy right here. Will that line up? It will. Tricky. So you could always come back and do it, okay? This is tricky. I don't want to lay my stencil in there. So I'm just going to go in. So do you see what I'm saying? Don't do it while it's all wet. You could do it after. Like layer some and then come back. So that's it for the... Um, see, look at the mess I made down here, but we'll be able to fix it. So I'm just moving this for a minute so I can clean up. So you know, friends... Why would we waste this, right? So let's do this little tricky thing right now. So clean up your mess. You have this stencil, right? With all of this pretty texture paste on that we don't wanna just waste. So I'm hoping I have one more piece of foundations paper. Handy, because I have to go out and restock my foundations paper down here. Cause I literally, oh, I do one piece ready this could be our card after is this it is okay so we're gonna wet this lots of water on here okay we're gonna lay that down because we don't want to waste this and do we have a paper towel left i don't so I'm all right. I'm just going to press it with this. And this would not be something that I was going to use. Watch. I'm going to go in here, through here, quickly. Oh, that's oxide. That's regular distress. Load up this because I don't want to contaminate my pad by going back in and putting the texture paste on here. So we're just going to do this wipe my thing off in case there's texture paste and I'm just blending some through here. Got to move fast because this could end up being like glue, right? And we don't want that. And then I'm going to still mist through there and we're going to lift this and see what we get. 
it might be pretty, it might be ugly. But rather than just wiping it off on a paper towel, we'll try it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna do another impression of it with whatever's left on that stencil. I'm gonna press it down. Oh, brayer, brayer would be perfect, brayer. Okay, brayer, go in there and deposit some ink. Okay, and this is just cleaning your stencil off, but instead of wasting all of that magic, this background is gonna be so pretty, my friends. Oh, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna throw this in the sink quick. I just like to clean it quick because it's so much easier to clean it while your product is wet. Okay, sorry about that. Had to walk away for a minute. Wipe everything down while it's wet. I'm also going to just blend, bleed, uh, or put some water into this, okay? So you could use this as a full background. I will not. Like I will use this now and I might go in when it dries and deposit some more ink through the butterflies. But look at how pretty that is. Can you see it? You won't be able to, I'll show it to you later. Okay. It's gonna be very pretty. And then I'll go in when this dries and I'll go in with some ink. But it the color combo is very subtle and beautiful. Okay. Setting that aside, that was just cleaning my stencil off, right? Why waste it? Got to put it somewhere flat, though. So it's going on the floor. Going on the floor. So we have this magic now, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to do something a little different. Normally, I would let this all dry, but we're going to go in here now, and we're going to mist right in these areas and guess what we're going to let this do i'm going to let it drip down so we're going to take that now and let it run oh yeah bleeding little butterflies right And then it kind of pools and blends. Okay. And then what I did while this is just kind of all this magic is going on. is then I took my Distress Oxide. Please, please, please move your page up, missing the bottom off the screen, sure. Let me clean up my mess. Thank you for letting me know because I'm working away and it's nice if you guys can actually see what I'm doing, right? There you go, okay. Better? So we can also, um, if you want, you could make, just take your ink and do this, but I'm gonna 
only reason I'm doing this in here um, with the uh, spray is because my finger went all over this. So I'm just taking the little pure pigment here and putting a couple little drops of that in there. And that was just with the Distress Spray, but you could do it just with your ink. And I can blast these a little bit with some water. Because that's just pure pigment sitting there, right? So this will take longer to dry, right? Because you have wet medium. I'll clean that up because if I put my hand in it, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm not even, ooh, jeepers, creepers, Vicky. That's just craziness right there, what Vicky's doing. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Okay. Is I going to stamp right on here? I'm not even waiting for this to dry. You could, if that freaks you out. I'm just going into some of those still. You could totally wait for it to dry before you do this next step. You do not have to do what Vicki is doing. I'm going to take that stamp, and now I'm going to go with oxides. And because it's really pretty, but I want to kind of pull some of that pattern in, I'm going to stamp into it. So oxide is a um, hybrid ink. So do you see how it looks chalkier? It's a chalkier ink. So when the two, the pigments separate when you have water in it, this will stamp more opaque and regular distress will stamp more um, translucent. But when you put this down and you put water on it, the two different types of inks separate and it's a whole different look. So I like the purity of color with distress ink. And then I like the magic that oxide will make. A lot of people only buy oxides and they don't buy the regular distress ink because the oxides blend really beautifully. But I really feel like you need the regular, right? You need the regular, it does magical things. So I'm gonna go in with this stamp, just a script stamp. This one is, I'll put links up later, but it is Ledger Script. It's a Tim Holtz stamp. And I'm going to now, with Oxide, because it stamps nice, is I'm going to go in and just randomly stamp some areas with this stamp. Like I said, this might freak you out a little bit. Because I'm going to literally just be stamping in. It could end up stamping right into some of the... Um, area that I added... Uh, texture paste, but it's totally okay. I'm going to actually purposefully do that in a second. I'm going to wipe it a little bit because there could be a little bit of glaze on there. And I'm going to stamp the side of it now. I, I buy them all. I love them. I love distress and I love oxide and I love um, the color options, right? There's so many colors in these. I'm stamping right into that wet stenciled area. Oh, look. So it's not going to show up perfectly, but it's eating away. Urgh, eating away at that. I love it. But clean your stamp. Like, don't mess around there. Clean that stamp. Um, because there is now glaze in that. So I will bring it over to the sink and I have a little scrubby brush. And I will totally clean it into my stamp. But for right now, because I'm not done, I'm just going to get the chunks out of it, right? So let's go in. And I'm going to stamp in these a little bit. You could um, put a little water on it. It will act as a releasing agent. But because these mediums are still so wet, you have to be careful um, not to add too much water because it'll start moving everything around. Uh, this one turned out even prettier than my first try. I love that. That's why you just got to keep playing with these things, right? So I'm going to stamp maybe a little bit here. Stamping right in. I'm, I'm giving her. 
stamp them right into that uh, texture paste. <gasps> I love it. I love it. You could uh, stamp some of that texture paste around too, right? And then when you're done, you uh, have to leave this, just leave it to dry. This is going to take quite a while to dry because we put so much moisture into where the texture paste are and such. And don't overdo it, right? Oh, it's off screen again. <laughs> Sorry. My camera setup is not the best today, so I have to work far away from myself so you guys can see it. I apologize. And I will put it up closer too. I'll grab the camera so you guys can get a closer look. Okay, dry that. And a couple more stamps. And then I'm going to just let it dry. And I love this. And even if you don't have the butterfly stamp, this stencil, this will work beautifully with anything that you have. You do not have to have exactly what I'm using to create some magic, right? So let's look. I think I'm going to put a little bit here. And a little bit there. A little bit down here. And not too much. You don't want to go too cray cray, right? I think that's lots. I think that's good now. Now, if you want to, like maybe you're stamping, you want to break up a little, you could put a little bit of water in it. But I'm not going to do much. I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm liking how this looks. So sometimes you need to know when to stop. So what I love, as always, is Barbie and Ken, a.k.a. Vicky and Tim, um, went to the party. And look at what they created. So, um... I love that my texture paste works so beautifully with this new color. And you could go in and go very contrasty. If you didn't want a tone on tone background, you most certainly could go in there with um, the pinks. You could have gone over here with the pink. I just wouldn't do it all wet. If I was going to do that, I probably would have let some of these parts dry before I go in there again. I am going to grab the camera. And I'm going to give you a close-up shot because I will not be able to pick this up to show you when I go back to front camera, right? So I'm going to jiggle you for a minute because I'm going to grab my phone. And I'm going to show you closer. Okay, here we go. So let's see. <gasps> Buckle up, right? I was coming in hot there. Can you see that? Is that a little bit better? I hope it's focusing. And then I will, before I do anything with this, I will photograph this. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here. I'm not going to put a heat gun on here or anything. I'm going to let it just dry. Okay. And then I'll just try to pick it up and show you with the camera. But I don't want to move it around too much, right? Because uh, it's wet and pooling. But hopefully you guys can see that with the glare of the lights. It's very pretty, right? So look at they're pretty close. The two results are pretty close. And this one, like I said, it's been drying for hours. But because I pulled so much water on here, it's taking longer to dry than it normally would. But do you see when I stamped into the medium? You get this really kind of broken distress look. So we're going to revisit this, I think, again next week. We're going to stamp in to the wet um, glaze and do another technique. Yes, I feel like we need a part de. So next Friday, that'll give you all week to make some of these. I'm gonna make a card out of this technique and I'm going to um, visit this stamping into the wet texture paste a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that. So next week we'll make a layout and a card. And also I'm gonna show you uh, like elevate this technique a little bit. Okay, so that gives you an idea. I will be here on Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time um, on Friday to do Friday Night Live. I, oh, and here's another thing, friends, that I've decided is I'm going to, for all of my international friends and people on different time zones, I am going to start doing something maybe on a Wednesday afternoon or somewhere um, in the week where you guys um, don't have to be up at like one o'clock in the morning. 
to actually watch this. I'm stamping into that butterfly up here because I can. So watch, I'm gonna go in, stamp in there a little bit. Oh, I love it so much. So we're totally doing that. We're totally doing that this week. I gotta remember because see, when I play, when we're doing this stuff, I will watch things happen and I'm always taking notes, remembering like, oh my goodness, look at what magic just happened. So this is the takeaway because a lot of you guys watch me and you are too afraid to do it or you think it's not your jam. I am telling you, it's a piece of paper in your time. I hope some of you that are newer here that just kind of discovered me during COVID or even more recently, um, look at this and go, uh, that was interesting. I want to give that a try because I really feel like um, magic happens when we do these Friday nights and today it's Sundays. Magic happens. And I don't even care if you are a traditional scrapbooker. You don't have to put a photo on this. This could go in an art journal or you could just make it because it's fun. Um, that you guys, hi, um, want to give these things a try. Because that was fun today. And this is how it works for me. I uh, went, okay, I want to go live because I haven't been here for a long time. And I want to see my friends because I really do miss you when I'm not here. And I knew I got the new Distress Ink color, so I thought that'll be fun. And I came downstairs and I went, let's just, it has to be easy because I'm tired and I'm not feeling 100% yet. What can I do that's easy? And this literally, that's all. I knew I was going to use Tim's new color. I knew I was going to use the texture paste because it was sitting on my desk. And I knew that we could just ink a background, a stamp, and a stencil. Look at split quick, quick, quick. And it's beautiful. And I feel like this technique could be revisited in multiple color palettes. So like, I feel like now I gave you the little seed. We're gonna plant that seed. You're gonna water it. You're gonna fertilize it. You're gonna give it love and light and it's going to grow into beautiful ideas. And that's really with what I hope your biggest takeaway is hanging out with Vicki Booten and being part of the VBoot crew is plant the seeds. Don't have doubts. The seeds will grow with a little bit of practice and love and giving it everything that it needs. And that's just your time, uh, giving yourself some grace that maybe you're not gonna do it perfectly the first time. Like remember Irene said, oh, my baby wipe was too wet. And guess what? I know Irene, she tried it again, but she probably got a really fun technique with the first one. It just bled under her stencil a little bit. So here's the whole thing. Try the things. Don't be afraid. It's your pa a piece of paper and your time. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose? Just do the things. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's it for today. Um, I knew I was going to go on here just an hour today. So maybe we'll start doing these like a Sunday hour, like our little hour craft time and just come up with ideas that you could then practice leading up to Friday. And then we could revisit it on Friday. So I hope you enjoyed that. Where do I order your products? So vickybooten.com, um, when I haven't stocked my store because I literally just got back from uh, the UK on Friday, uh, scrapbook.com, a cherry on top, uh, any of your local scrapbook stores, I work with American Crafts. So anywhere that sells American Crafts, Joanne's store, I, I don't know if Sweet Rush is set up there, but it will be. Not all of my collections are, but um, at least once a year they do a reset and Sweet Rush will be this one. Uh, but so much fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and guess what? If you're just watching today because you're out by the pool and you're not in your craft room, you have all week to practice and play with this. And then we're going to revisit it on Friday. We'll make a layout. We're going to make a card because I'm a card maker now. And this is going to be beautiful on a card. And you know it's going to be a slim line. 100% it's going on a slim line. Long and narrow, same technique, just made smaller. Love it, okay? I um, I missed you too, Norma. I really did, and I miss you even more when I sit down and do this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to just take it easy. I have to cut down the jungle that is in my backyard. I have no clue what happened there. But now, here's I'm going to ask you if you're gardeners. Now we're talking about this stuff. So it's a trumpet vine in my backyard. I just posted on Instagram. And I see there's 
buds all over it, but it is like literally looks like it's coming to get us. Like the plant is going to eat us. Um, so I, I want to go and cut it back, but I'm going to lose all the buds, right? I'm going to lose all those buds, all those flowers, the butterflies and hummingbirds are all going to be gone. So I don't know if you guys are um, big gardeners, but I have to cut it off because like it's, it's in <laughs> where we sit. Like it, I've never seen it grow like that, but now I'm going to lose all the buds. So all the flowers are going to be gone. But anyway, just had to add that at the end. So thanks so much for joining me on this Sunday. If you're watching after the fact, please still thumbs up, like the video, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do that and set your reminder buttons so that anytime I go live or post a video, you don't miss it. If you're on Facebook, do the same, please. Um, give the like, whatever, even if you're giving me angry faces or the thumbs down, any interactions, good interaction, and I will take it. So uh, thanks as always for joining me and I'll see you next Friday, this coming Friday, uh, before I leave. And then we're going to do something special with my friend, Lael. So I'll be going live and she's going to be going live. And um, I might have bought costumes for us. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So um, I'll see you guys later. But have a great rest of your weekend. For my American friends, enjoy your holiday tomorrow. And for my Canadian, my Canadian friends, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. And we'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining. Bye, guys.